You know the law. A murderer must pay with his life. He must pay his debt. I cannot save him. I'm at my wit's end. What a fool you are! What did you just say? I called your honor a fool. You call me a fool? Come over here, woman. I decreed that your elder son should pay with his life. Why did you call me a fool? How dare I call your honor such a name? But my boy, he's a good son. If you kill him, who will support me? Fine, let the eldest live to support you. Have your second son executed instead. What a fool you are! I've sentenced your second son instead. Why did you call me a fool, woman? How dare I call your honor such a name? But my second son has a good head for business. If you kill him, who will support me? Call me a fool and defend your son. If they won't, who's to pay for the crime then? I'll take my third son. Fine, I'll take the third son to be executed. Do you agree to let him pay for the crime? Yes, when there are three partners doing the shortest of our shift. He's the one who should pay. Wait, wait, no. This is clearly a case of mistreatment between one's adopted sons and their own children. The other children must be your own, while the other is adopted. Is this true? Speak up, woman. Tell the truth and I shall spare you. Lie and pay with your life. I'll bring my sons, why does it so bad? Since you won't tell the truth, I'll have you beaten, woman. You should have to tell the truth, then. Is the eldest your own? He's not mine, he's the elder's son. How about the second? Give him his mother's son. And the third? Give me his mother. He has a good head. Wait, wouldn't it be better to let one of the adopted sons pay for this crime? That would not be right. If I let the other wife's sons die, I would look like her as a stepmother. It's not just that. I now know the truth. I see what fine people this mother and her sons are. As I was dreaming earlier today, I had a dream of three butterflies. One was caught in the web and it struggled to get out as another came to help it. This had happened twice. The third time, a small butterfly was caught, but this time the big one flew away. This is precisely the case of this mother and her sons. Three times she spoke and abandoned her own child. It's exactly as I saw in my dream at noon. I shall take all three to the condemned cell. This creature has his reputation for justice, but today he passed wrong judgment. He is to tie in his court and draw the highest salary, but all for what? My sons are unjustly sentenced to death. I must act. To die with these others is to let the world know and support me. We will be judged to the end of our days. Thank you, ladies. Now we're going to present a few short pieces from the same play, which were written by the students that are going to be speaking them. First, we have Megan, and she wrote a monologue that represents the judge character, Val, to try and demonstrate his character traits. I dreamed that a butterfly caught in a spider's web was trying to flee. Two small butterflies were caught in a spider's web, but a large butterfly quickly came and saved them. The butterfly was flailing. He was struggling. He was having such a hard time stuck in this web, trying to figure out how he even got to this mess. But instead of the larger butterfly quickly saving him, she flew away with the other two that she had saved. My thoughts quickly came to a close when I realized I needed to focus in on my work. A murderer must pay with his life. Well, that's what's supposed to happen. You killed their father. Guy never had to pay for his crime because he was rich. Well, the boys had just came to talk. Somehow they got in a fight. They obviously kept their mother's honor. Then something happened and he died. How this happened? No idea. But I have to remember the claim that a murderer must pay with his life. Should we have the eldest taken out and executed? The eldest is a good son, she said. Now look at him. He does care for her. The neighbors will vouch for him, she says, yet she has no power in saying this. Val for the second son. Her second son has a good head for business. Well, maybe he does have a good head. The mother would be a better teacher. The mother seems so pathetic. 
She has no power in anything, but she doesn't want her babies to die. She has two stepsons and a biological son. She's going through such a hard time with them. But who was to pay for this crime? Because she lets the first wife's son die and would look as if she were a heartless stepmother. She agreed to let her biological son die. She saved her two adopted sons from the situation, a situation which would have let them die. The fear of looking like a heartless stepmother. She is so honorable, doing such a hard thing. She left her only baby to die and save the others. I respect her so much for that. But I have to forget about that. I have to keep my job. I remembered my dream. She was the butterfly that saved those other little butterflies from the web. by Maddie in a piece that she wrote to demonstrate the wife character's character traits. Is Maddie not here today? Oh, what a drag, because it's so good. Okay, uh, so finally we will have, we had a second person who's portraying Val, and that is Nathan. Nathan, you want to come up? Yeah. All right, Nathan. Thank you. 